can just any 68 card pile show up and win a 75k standard open at magic con chicago no questions hello and welcome back to another day in the arena it's me it's cgb today in the arena we have imported deck this is the deck that won the 75k largest standard event at magic con chicago and what is it? I don't know what's happening. It's a 68 card pile. The curve is backwards. I'm sorry, have you played standard ever? You're supposed to cast a million one drops, then some two drops, then some three drops and one four drop. What the hell? You did it backwards. And it's a, it's a, what is it? It's a Slogurk deck. A Slogurk the Overslime pseudo combo deck. Using Aftermath Analyst, and Splendid Reclamation, these cards will return lands from the graveyard to the battlefield. The lands that go directly to the graveyard are Broker's Hideout, Obscura Storefront, and Riveteer's Outlook. Once you have made a huge amount of lands and mana, you use Slogurk to keep getting back the lands that generate value, like Odawara and Takanuma, of which there are several copies, to do more and more cool things, and also to make your Slogark impressively huge. Slogark? Slogark. Get it right. Some other interesting synergy is Nissa Resurgent Animus, which can generate a ton of mana to go just absolutely off and do several of these sequences a turn, sometimes attacking with an absolute giant ooze. But I honestly don't know, as I go into these games, how the rest of the deck works. Are we able to just mill our opponent out in one turn by casting Jace over and over? I think so, maybe. Uh, do we cast memory deluges and sift through our whole deck and just do it and like complete the sequences because we make so much mana with Nyssa? Maybe. Do we cast Atraxa and value out the opponent? I guess. I honestly, I look at the deck and I don't fully grasp what the mid to end game looks like. And is there anything more exciting in Magic in an established standard format than a deck that does that to you? I don't think so. So we are going to dive in and let this nonsense begin. Message from CGB HQ. You play that. Yes. We have the Covert Go Blue Dinosaur Rider playmat. You can get this sweet playmat and the sweet new token as well in a bundle at coolstuffinc.com slash CGB. That's Covert Go Blue HQ. Coolstuffinc.com slash CGB. Get yours today for the easy price of $19.99. On the play, I has the cut down, I has the slow girk. If my opponent's a creature deck, I have the tide. Their avatar, their whole uh, look, I am not sure what they are, but we will keep. Because if, if they're a control deck, I feel like we're ahead already, in a way. Because our deck is clearly made to uh, traumatize control. Black. I think we like that. I think we do. So, yeah, let's play the storefront. We can keep getting lands out of the graveyard with the slow Gurk. I guess we can get the white here. We have enough black. We have, we can't get a green. I guess I'll just set up the white just in case. Rakdos. Is it that? Heratide is good against the bat. Cut down can remove Z bat. Go for the throat can remove Z bat. I don't know. Getting back the cut down isn't a high priority, but let's play the slow girk when we can also channel the Takanuma, because they will kill it. And I would love to get it right back. Jund. This might be an Itali deck. If they go big enough, it could be a problem. I should probably speed up my pace. Glissa. Beautiful. Well, hmm. Now I might need to play the Takanuma for the Tide. Let's just remove the Glissa. That way we can do what we want on our turn. I have an over slime. What say you? Sure. 
That is a frustrating card, but I don't think it hurts me too badly because of the way that slow girk works. Because we'll keep getting lands back to our hand. Now we gotta watch out for that cottage. Yes, we do. That could be bad. So I think I need to actually Takanuma and get my Slogurk back. Because I think they're going to power up this cottage. We can discard the other land and then the Slogurk can do the thing. Okay. That sounds like a plan. We need another green potentially. So let's use this to get a blue. So that we're set up for double blue for the memories. This deck is so kind of ponderous. It's just kind of dorking along, you know what I mean? <laughs> we all have things we'd rather forget. Lands to graveyards. Oh, the, the dreaded one point of bat damage. No attack from the cottage. Any plays? Any magical spells? Okay. Not a big deal. Cracking the map right here, right now. They're going to try to keep ahead of Terror Tide, but we have ways to mill. Questing Druid. Golgari with Questing Druid, huh? They have a tap land. Yay, more land. It's what we do here. Bring me back my ooze friend. Terror Tide up to six if we can find a black source. Celestis can do it. Are we supposed to play the Celestis in the Slogurk or the Analyst in the Slogurk? Let's play the... Oh, wait. I don't have that option. I don't have enough mana. But there's definitely lands in the graveyard. Yeah, let's play the Celestis. We need the mana fix. Let's play our Uzi friend. Uzi friend could go pretty nuts with the Analyst next turn. All right, they dig with the Druid and hit a Gix's Command. They can cast that next turn. Scary. They're going to pitch the Liliana? Nope, they're going to plus it. Don't overthink. I think we'll drop the memories. We're a little behind on tempo for the memories. They're attacking. God help us, they attacked. All right, they use the map token. Maybe they hit a land. They have a land in exile. They hit another questing druid. They got a lot of value. I think that that's the kind of game we want to play, though. Echoing Deeps. Sacrifice at return all lands from graveyard to battlefield tapped. Dude. Dude! And we know their hand. Okay. This is where I'm not sure how far this goes, but I'm gonna try it. So we lead with the Echoing Deeps and we make it a copy of, we'll call it, what do we want most, green? The Broker's Hideout. This gets us the forest. We play the Analyst. We mill three. Boom, boom, boom. We activate the Analyst. We get them back. Oh, I'm copying. Uh, can I copy something that's coming out of my graveyard? I honestly don't know, but I will try. <laughs> Two Takanumas, cool. Let's go. Uh, derp on, on top, I guess? But we're shuffling, right? Maybe I'm supposed to bin that just because. Am I gonna run out of forest? I might. I'm running out of forest. No, I should have fetched a swamp. Okay, learning pains. Learning pains. All right. Attack Liliana. They don't have the Gix's command. And I have the terror tide for next turn. Hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Is so thick. Sorry, this is the oozy ooze we have here. Today. Look at the mana. Look at the lens. Yeah, dig, dig, dig. Our opponent gets a path of peril and a Boseju.
Uh, yeah. Are they gonna like cottage attack me? They are. Okay, that's fine. So this is a good attack. And they get to remove the memory deluge, which I'm sure they are concerned with. I don't care that much. Like this Sloger and this Terror Tide are gonna be so many punchies and so much value. Another one. All right, let me let me show you what's up. It's a it's a three mana draw three, but kind of better. <sighs> we'll get the Takanuma. We'll get the deeps. I guess we get one of these. I think there's one more swamp in the deck, right? We need more of the channel lands to really pop, but we're doing it. We're doing it. 1425. Let's see what we get. Yeah. Uh, I choose Atroxa, the grand unifier. <laughs> Go to combat. 16. 16 <laughs> damage. <laughs> uh, let's play this. This card's good. Oh, man. Oh, man. I would not want to be any kind of mid range deck facing this kind of top end. That is insane. This has to be a good curve, if, if such a thing is even possible. This has to be good, right? Right? Maybe? <laughs> Maybe. All right, dig. I'll keep it. The next turn I can play a tap land and cut down a threat. Dreamies, sure. Probably blue-black. We don't wanna play the analyst here. We would love to play it off Nissa mana because we don't have much to do with two mana. We might not even play Nissa next turn. It really depends. Opponent with a read on the cut down there. They just pass. Let's just hold. Uh, Celestis. Okay, that's interesting. Very interesting card to draw. Let's go for it. Then we can play Nissa and do the double land thing and use the double lands to play the analyst. Gotta make room for the Celestis. Might as well go up to 68 cards. Bat. Buzz off, bat. Siren in the house. Nisha. Mana. Uh, we'll take the green. This will go and get, I think we'll take another green. Uh, make another green. We get another analyst. Not bad. And we mill some cool stuff. We're vibing. We're doing things. They probably can't remove the Nissa and the analyst. They take out the analyst. They know I have another. Okay, they can remove both, and they do. What a boss. We draw the land. Beautiful. Mill. Play around a Tidebinder Mage. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing around a Tidebinder Mage. That would be absolutely brutal. We're shuffling anyway, so we bin this. It's a resource for later. We've got green and black going on, and we'll use that for white. The Obscura storefront that be. I'm ready for my Atraxa. Send me my Atraxa. Oh, one's in the graveyard. Send me my Takanuma. <laughs> my god, we could actually Takanuma and almost cast Atraxa. I am so good at magic. They've got something. It might be like an ur tie, but I think we go for this anyway. I think we just go for it. Make them have it. 
They're not dealing that much damage. I wonder if I'm supposed to hold the land to go with like a Nissa, right? For value? I don't know. They got a tap land, they have an untap land. Yeah, their hand is definitely not cooking. They are Gixless. Hi, Splendid Wreck. Hi. Hey there. <laughs> uh, thinning the 68 card deck. Very important for consistency reasons. <laughs> Okay, uh, we debasicked. We definitely debasicked. Thinned. All right, we need double spell this turn. We cast Splendid Wreck. Let's cast the one out of the graveyard in case they want to exile it or use another counter spell. That would be fine too. You want to counter it? Let's get them all out of the hand. Yeah, you can go. You wanna wreath me? No. I have another counter spell? Whatever. Uh, we can discard the wreck. We've definitely done our thing. Analyst. We might counter an analyst. Obviously, we can gain a bunch of life and have a bunch of landfall triggers with it. What do we got? There's a Jace now. Cast this. There's another Jace. Nissa? Probably? Don't know if the Nissa is even that good now, but it's interesting, right? So, how do we get to a slow Gurk? With a fast Gurk. That's probably a silly thing to say. Here's my Jace. You got 45 cards. I don't think that's the plan, but I do have that many cards in my graveyard, so I guess I'll hit ya. I want the draw three. We got their Gix. What a monster I am. All right. Uh, what land do we become a copy of? I guess we hold that. All right, play the Nissa. One, two, three, four for the analyst. And do we hold them? What good do they do? Celeste is fodder. They do something. All right, opponent. Hoi. Okay, what do I do at this stage of the game? I've never been here before. What do I do when all the lands have been removed? Am I, I'm, I'm just looking for these cards. They really hate this Jace. Okay. They mill me. Yeah. Okay, there's a Slogurk. Uh, you here. Activate. Thanks for the mill. Uh, opponent's graveyard. Sure, I'll be an island. Uh, keep this one. Ooh um... In? What is happening? Who am I? What am I? Why am I? Green, black, black, green. Sorry, almost went blue too hard. Don't say that. Just don't say what I just said ever. All right, we decline and we decline. Can we decline? <laughs> Can we just like auto search in these situations, wizards? Is it absolutely necessary that I decline to find? What is this? Some kind of like dodging of liability for the <laughs> for the algorithm? I don't know. Uh, uh you? Well, actually, you're a good card. I feel like I need the Slogurk. 
But I can also cast the Atrexa. I'm sure that will find it. Okay. Um, could kill their Reef. Could kill one of their Flyers, save the Jace. Eh. Far from the worst. What you got? Yeah, let's take out their, their fancy little Shark Land. We do have only 13 cards in the deck. We have to win. Maybe I am... Oh, I could... Oh, my Deeps can be a copy of their Reef. That's interesting, right? All right, I'm not drawing. I think we hold on that front. Uh, plus on you. Attack here, attack here. Deeps becomes a Reef. Make a blue. Cast an Atroxa. Grand Unifier. Oi. Um, Slogar, definitely. Cut down, I think. Tawara. I think we just leave the Terror Tide since I'm not going to use it. Okay. Get you on the battlefield for a change. We can bounce the Jace and recast it. That's exciting. We can make so much mana. One mana, by the way. Okay. Hit me. Keep you. Keep you. Uh, blue. And blue. And green. And green. And black. And blue. And black. And green. And blue. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. What do you want from me? 2x speed gang, rise up. <laughs> I mean, how big can we make this slogan? Like, infinite, right? But we can't attack with this this turn? How many times can I get back the Jace? We're going to have so much mana. So I can use Slogurk, bounce it, get back Odawara, bounce Jace, cast that again. I feel like there's a combo. I mean, this generates all that mana again I'm let's 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 dig let's cook Kapask Imasahak Q I will shatter your mind I feel shattered thank you Yeah let's cook How far can we take this What do we have? Eight cards in the deck. That is certainly a thing to keep an eye on. Like, can I mill them out? 28 cards. I need two more Jace activations. Choose the legendary permanent to keep. What am I looking at? Where is it? Oh, uh, sidebar. I don't know, man. I don't know if I can get there. It seems like I can. It's a lot of mana. And I just need eight? Yeah, I got this. I got this, right? It's a mill deck. This whole time. We can also use Takanuma to get back the Jace from the graveyard. So yeah, it is a mill deck. <laughs> How did I not realize?
Pew, 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 pew. Note of all your Bang. They'll mill me down to two cards, no big Surrender deal. They're at 13. Uh. 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 Yo. Uh. What up? Yo. Time to interact, dude. Oh no. It's make disappear. Easy peasy. You know, on top of that, if we didn't want the opponent to even have a window to do anything, if they hadn't used a make disappear, like if we had the mana, uh, we can also bounce the Urtai, cast it, blow up their thing, and make them draw for lethal before they even get an upkeep. On the play, Nissa into Celestis Slogurk. Is this too slow? Especially with no sack lands? I don't know. Keep. It does feel like we should have some tap lands. But on the play, mulliganing a hand that does have these cards seems weird. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is that blue white? Is that blue white I see? Mm hmm. Another Nissa. Let's run the Nissa at him. No count spell. No get lost. Don't tell him I don't have a way to double land. <laughs> That's cringe. We should not attack first. Let's use this as an opportunity, right? Let's play the Slogurk. Please let that resolve. Please hit land. A land. Better than nothing. At least our deeps now does what we want it to do. Like, this has to be the matchup we want, right? That has to be why this deck is what it is, is the blue-white control. So let's see if they have a depopulate. Even if they do, we get a card from the Slogurk and a land from the Slogurk. Not yet. A little Wandering Emperor action. Hmm. Still no source of island lurking down there. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Two legends. Huh. Do I play that Odawara? Interesting, right? So interesting. We could also become a sunken citadel. Not that that's great, but it is a source of blue. Or we can be an outlook, which gets us the Nissa double trigger. Then the blue mana, we can channel the Odawara to save something if we have blue up, which is the Celestis. It's a very interesting spot. Also, we get to trigger the Nissa to hopefully get another analyst. They're definitely planning Sunfall. There is no question they're planning a Sunfall. Okay, we get another Analyst. We have four mana up. If we play this, we can activate the Analyst in response to a Sunfall, activate the Slogar to get it back, channel the Odawara to get this back? Is... What? What? Okay, I move is to combat. Hi, what you do? React, I implore you. Oh no, not the Wandering Emperor. Somebody made a video about that card being trash. Anyone who harms my people must contend with me. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So we're definitely getting this back. The question is how I can activate the analyst or I can just channel the Odawara. And I don't need to bounce the Slogar. I can bounce something else. I don't even really want to bounce something else. Let's just do this. Actually, 
Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll become a, a sunken citadel. Sunken citadel. Trigger, trigger. Bounce. Get back. The outlook. I could have used the Odawara. I just, there's nothing I want to bounce here. What a world. Oh no, a knight. Protect the people. Would be a weird time to sunfall, dude. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What do we discard? I guess the throat. We could also throw lands in the graveyard as a way to get to them, but I think this is better. Hey, I cast this. I have all this open mana. What you... What? Dissipate? Rude. Rude behavior. All right. For my next trick. Leave the green. Hit the analyst. Cast the analyst. Mill the deck. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It's popping. It's popping, you guys. Combat. Don't with the block, sure. Pass. What are they gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna sunfall me? You're gonna sunfall me? I'll sunfall myself. I don't give a fox. Field of ruin. Farewell graveyards, maybe? <laughs> I would still get a heck of a bump before then. Their own Celestis. I don't think I bounce that. Also, we can save this till my turn if we want to. But then we get all these untapped lands. All right, we do now. Maybe I do bounce this. Let's see what happens. It's a we get another elf from the experience, right? All right, all out of forests. Two islands. One island. I mean, I don't think I use this here. I, I think that's the wrong use. Splendid wreck. I mean, it's landfall triggers, right? That's what it is. It's not anything better than that. We do cut their life to 11. I wish I could like bin this somehow and make Field of Ruins at some point, but I don't know, That that's probably a bit much. Let's just activate and dig. We got all these Nissas. We need to hit the goods. Bring forth the goods. I know they have one too. It's the hard counter spells that are scary, right? They discard a march? Wow. Oh, yeah. There we go. I think I have this on the board first. So I can just activate it when Slogurk resolves. The Slogurk's definitely going to resolve, right? They don't have more dissipates. They've never had a dissipate in their life. They don't scare me. Ooh, that's some good, that's some good millage. Ooh, don't like that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh no, the memory deluge. Where's mine? 
Where's my memory deluges? It's definitely scary. Even as a 68 card deck, we're going to be in Jace range pretty soon. Oh, boom. Boom, that's value. That's value. No more lies. Gone. Yeah, I know how to counter your counter. It's with lands. Oh my god, it's Sunfall. Whatever shall I do? Three mana open. Activate. Moment of interaction for the opponent, if they've got it. Okay. Blue, let's get green, let's get blue. I think we're all out of elves now. I think we're all out of lands now. It's fine. This is fine. Oh, ha, one more island. Nailed it. Okay, one more point of interaction here, right? Yeah, there we go. Bouncies. Resolve that. One more point of interaction. Bouncies. Get back this, this, and this, I guess. But we do need more lands that do stuff. Anyway, nice sunfall, bro. <laughs> Very impressive. I too have made a zero, zero incubator token. Cut down for the zero, zero. Hype. I mean, no lands. We're just we're just vibing here. We just want some plus one plus one counters in our life. That's it. Activate. <clears throat> cook. We cook. We still have thirty nine cards to go. So I haven't found a memory deluge. Which would be really nice, I must say. Okay. Easy. Never didn't have it. Can't cast it though. Unless I wreck. They counter this. They hit this with a no more lies. It's not very good for me. I I have to defend Slogirk. So we hold. Uh-huh. The maze. We'll drop that. It'll be a fun reanimation. Whereas getting back the Riveteer's Outlook is no longer a double landfall trigger. Maze. Maze is a surveil. All right. They could double Jace me to death here. That would be a little heartbreaking. Got a reader. Oh, oh, my Citadel. Okay. I see. I see. Clever girl. But, you know, land, graveyard, hogs. Now the Field of Ruins in the graveyard, that could get exciting. There's also a Murex. Oh, now they're gonna do this. Weird. Very weird. Weirdy sequencing. It doesn't remove it, but I may as well get the lands back and I may as well use the Otawara.
I think they're trying to navigate something to do about their situation, but let me tell you, your situation is tough. Like the spot removal just never seems to work out the way they want it to, right? Oh, they have a response to the activation. Oh, they're blue gaming. Oh no! I got marched upon. All right, so three lands. You, you, you. Another cut down, wow. Another cut down. I cast memory to the huge. Oh, hi, where are you at? 34 cards, that, that's delightful. I do not have enough blue mana on my own, but blue, blue, and then blue, blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, easy. Remember when I talked about double chasing? I'll take note of all your failures. I was talking about me. I will. All your hopes and dreams. That's two. Were for nothing. The weak mind, the educated. Oh my, my god! <laughs> They're useless, baby! <laughs> All that effort to remove a Slogurk only to find your library not there the next turn. <laughs> pew pew. On the play, we have a Terror Tide. We can get a few things in the graveyard. We have Nyssa. Yep, let's see what happens. It, I, I don't think there will be many hands that are not slow. And on the play with our first play being a three drop, I think is reasonable. But I've got to be honest, I don't feel comfortable. If, you know, if my opponent plays a mountain. Ugh. Ugh. This is mono red. Do you play mono red? Scamp it up. Could be worse. It's worse. Slow Gurk. They kill it, we get back the land. Well, do we, actually? Oh, it's when it leaves the battlefield. Yeah. No, yep, okay. I mean, the land is a life. We get to play it with the Nyssa, which gets another elf. So it keeps us moving. It keeps the value train going. I don't think that's what's important. They do miss it in land drop. I really wish I had a two mana play. That would be fun, but I do not. Uh, black, black, another blue, another blue. Go for go blue. Okay, we did not hit the elf we wanted. We wanted the two mana elf, would have been awesome. Slightly higher percentage of hitting the two mana elf, but we lose. So, you know, magic. Why does this thing, why does Kumano also have to exile, huh? It makes no sense. I guess we're just dead. All right, so mono red, we are slow. If we had another blocker that turn, we had a chance, but not a good one. But yeah, we needed another blocker. Today's Cool Kids Club member shout out goes to Ludek Nemak which I'm sure I got 100% correct. Uh, Ludek, you're cool. Remember, you can join the Cool Kids Club and get access to my videos early. That is when I'm not just getting back from MagicCon Chicago. Sometimes when I travel, I might run up against that deadline. I'll get back on schedule, I promise. And you also get the members only live streams, which I'm actually live right now. And my members in the chat are trying to help me pronounce this name. So uh, Ludek, you're cool. This deck, if you stayed till the end, you had the intestinal fortitude to watch L's to mono red and Boros. And that's my big question mark. Like, can we really play this deck in best of one with taking L's like that to Boros? <laughs> I don't know. I really, oh man, it, it was tough to lose those games. But the high you get against, say, any black deck, against any mid-range deck, against any control deck that really doesn't know your true power, and you get to just kind of swerve them, you have so many options, it's very rewarding, and I think it might be worth it. 
you're probably going to take like 20 to 30 percent of your matchups as auto losses uh because it doesn't feel like we're efficient enough for a best of one deck to win in a straight up you curve out i curve out game but against anything slower than that you pop and you pop hard so if you enjoy those games where maybe you spend only two or three minutes losing to mega aggro but you spend 10 to 15 minutes solving a win against a more a different style of deck this might be the exact deck that you're looking for and congratulations to the pilot i think it's impressive that they thought outside the box and instead of saying how do i cut cards from this deck they said how do i keep the most important cards in the deck the sack lands and enough basics for them to fetch and all the different options we need to solve standards various problems well what if we went up to 68 cards yeah 68 cards and they were rewarded with a big win so very cool i hope you guys will try it thank you for watching this video as always i will see you in the next video thank you to my sponsors coolstuffinc.com promo code cgb5 ultimate guard check the links in the description and check out my drip shop stream coming up for the fallout release you're cool